Hello, I'm Gav. I'm Dan. We're the Slow Mo Guys. And this week on the Super Slow Show, what have we got, Dan? This week's all about vehicles. You could say we're in the slow lane. Excellent pun. Thank you, thank you. Excellent name for the week, I think. Although yeah. our vehicles aren't really going to be in a particular lane, I would say. More likely to be in like a crumpled heap, I yeah. think. Yeah. But crumpled heaps look much better in slow motion. We're going to be shaving the top off a moving truck and cracking two cars together as fast as we can. I'm excited. Me too. One of the most requested subjects for a slow-mo ever since we started this channel was a car crash. And because we don't like letting you down, we finally done it. And it only took us seven years. Yeah, only seven years. Mainly because I didn't want to trash my car and there's not enough room in your back garden and also you don't drive. This is correct. Mm. So we had a word with our special effects team. They said we can get a 25 mile an hour speed on each car for a 50 mile an hour impact. Yeah, we were like, no, no, no. We don't want a fender bender. We want to annihilate the cars. Can we double it? And they said, now we're talking. So now we're about to film a 100 mile an hour head on impact at 1,000 frames a second. And we've even got the tight angle running at 2,000. Ain't that nice? Cheeky. Let's look at our setup. People may be wondering how we're going to manage to crash two cars into each other without anyone driving them. Uh, the method we've got is we've got a tow car here, or a truck. Beastly. Beastly. And we've got two cables coming from it here and here. They go from the end of the truck through this pulley to one of our cars, and then through this pulley to the other car, so they're going to come in at the same direction. So as this car drives off into the distance, yeah. the cars just get pulled straight into each other. So this truck will drive off. When it hits 50 miles an hour, the cars will be about 14 feet apart, at which point this metal cable will turn to be taut, and it's going to unlock this so that it doesn't rip the back of the truck out. Quite a feat of engineering, all this. It really is. It's quite elaborate. Um, it's going to work, essentially, because we need to guarantee that they're going to hit in the right spot so we can get it on the Phantoms. It's true, because one of our angles is pretty tight. Yeah, pretty tight. OK, so you're responsible for this car. Yeah, I, I came up with the, a little bit of character design for the guy who would drive this car. OK. Um, he was a clown, actually. Do you mean, like, literally, or no, just an, actual an idiot? clown, working clown. Oh, okay. He would frequently transport balloons full of paint. As they do. Clowns are famous for that. I'm going to put this one on the shelf back here. Oh, that's, oh, that one should go. So when it crashes, it gets some height and it maybe will come through the... Yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be I nice like it, yeah. So here's your car. Yep. What was your person <laughs> doing for a living? <laughs> well, mine was actually a fruit salesman, but he'd fallen upon hard times. Ah. So he couldn't have, like, a cart anymore, so he had to just put all his fruit in the car. So it's like a 2008-era fruitman. So these are slightly heftier than paint, right? Because they're slightly harder, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. So I'm expecting maybe some to go through the windscreen or something like that. I'm just going to lob them in. Yeah, just straddle the GoPro with my... <laughs> Hang on. Oh. So we're up here. We've been harnessed in. So, I mean, if any car parts come flying towards us, there's no chance that we can get out of the way. Uh, but, the duck, I guess. Yeah, but at least we won't fall three feet to the containers. That's true. Also, we're up here with the cameraman, who's the only other person that actually has a good vantage point, but he can't look at it because he's looking <laughs> at us. So, so we're going to take a bullet for Tony if uh, a, a tyre yeah, holds Yeah, so the if like, a wheel comes flying at him, I guess okay. that's it. Are you ready? I think we're ready. Yeah? I'm nervous, but I'm ready. <sighs> OK. Right. Three, two, one, go! Yeah, off he goes. Oh, no, the, the concrete's moving. Is that an issue? I think so. It's an issue. Oh, man. Oh. That didn't work. The concrete moved. Oh, man. So the sort of anchorage point on the concrete, the concrete wasn't heavy enough. So I imagine... It dragged it. It dragged it, like, 15 feet, almost. Because it missed our phantoms. I think we're going to have to do it again. Yeah. Thankfully, it'll be really cheap and not a big deal in any way. And just like that, some time has passed. We have two brand-new cars fully <laughs> loaded with the same exact items. Yeah, last time we had a bit of a failure because we had one K-rail, which was used as the anchor point with the pulleys on, 
but the weight of the K-Rail is too similar to the two cars being pulled, which meant that the timing was off because it got yanked away. So this time we've doubled the K-Rails and we've also put three foot pins into the ground. So hopefully this time there'll be no mess ups and we'll get that exact perfect smush that we want. And the drag of the K-Rail also slowed down the rate that they hit each other. So exactly. now they should hit a lot harder, right in the middle where we want them. Good luck us. Are you nervous this time? Well, second time's a charm. <laughs> and I say that because we can't afford to do it again. <laughs> so, oh. let's see what happens. We'd, maybe we'd be even more tanned and injured the next time we try it. <laughs> right. All right, I think I'm ready. Okay. Three, two, one, go! Keep an eye on the K-Rail. This is great. He's booking. Come on. He's booking. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh! Oh! Oh, my God. Oh! Look at the steam escaping from there. <laughs> that was class. It was like the front of the car's burst. Did you see that? <laughs> that, was, that was a lot of debris in the air there. That I can't was. wait to see that back. That went like 20 feet. That was amazing. That is wait. not bad. That is almost dead on. Oh, oh the wheel moves on the yeah. left-hand side one. Look, the back wheels are off oh, the floor. Look at that melon coming out. <laughs> <laughs> so the back car... Look at how high off the ground the back, the right-hand side car is. It's just taken off. That's great. Ooh. Look at the front oh. wheel there just gets smushed, and then all these melons go the flying. <laughs> oh. oh! And the melons pushed loads of shards of glass out. Wait, so it wasn't even the crash that smashed the glass. It was the melons hitting the glass that smashed it. You would not want to be in there. No, and I'm wouldn't. glad no one was. Oh, I think you got a flat on the front of that one. That is exactly what we wanted. Look, that's the GoPro that was on the middle of the... Oh, it's not even destroyed. Perfect. Listen to the hiss. What's that noise? What is that? I think it's the Freon leaking out. I think it's the uh, air conditioning. Maybe you should sit on that car, then it'd be free on that car, too. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It looks like it's bleeding. You see that? That's, like, pretty hectic, isn't it? All right, let's take a look inside, shall we? Yeah, for sure. It's actually given a quite nice, colourful paint job here. That is an absolute fruit massacre. It smells really good, it though. It smells it? tremendous. The mix of sort of early 90s car smell and watermelon. <laughs> the amount that's just wedged up against the windscreen and the dashboard. <laughs> it's, it's all smushed to the front. I think that looked about as beautiful as it could for what the subject was. That's something I've always wanted to do. And what yeah. always amazes me is the fact that of how much power is involved and how much force. Because if you imagine just trying to like push this with your hand, you can't do anything. But when there's two cars hitting each other, it's like paper yeah. just being it, ripped apart. In high speed, it's almost like tin foil crumpling. And then you realize that it's bloody solid metal. Yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed that car crash. Feel free to subscribe to the Slow Mo Guys. And we'll see you in the next episode of the Super Slow Show. That was sumo wrestling. Magnet smash. The ice sculpture explosion. Fruit stand smash. Oh, yeah. that was really messy. Yeah, yeah. I wonder, what's your favorite 